Hi there RD Aliens and either welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to run through my cyborgs and tech drawings I've done historically. Take two of this because the first video was pretty bodgy. So I had a go at this which is my take on Zardoz and next up uh, some really early pictures of a transport. I think I did that on a waterproof um, sketch pad in the bath. Uh, here's one I did way back in probably 85 or 87 according to my notes. It's about that time anyway. And then back in the early days I had a go at doing a mechanical fly. Uh, once I sketched this originally I put on tracing paper. Uh, that's what I call an arpoon. And then I went through one day and traced it into Photoshop which gets me this arpoon. So it's supposed to be like a cyborg fly of sorts. Uh, I was exploring a Terminator kitty cat, because why not? Cute Kelly kitty, which should rip your eyes out. Uh, I think to this day with Speedway cars I've been in Perth visiting the Speedway there. Uh, this drawing was inspired by watching Clockwork Orange. So there's all these droogs in the little car. Here's a really bad DeLorean. Uh, I should have a go at drawing vehicles properly one day. Not sure what this is. It was just a head with some probes in it hanging on a coat hanger slash um, hat stand, cyborg thing. A uh, little basic robot. Uh, I was reading a book called Lift Off by Scott Robinson where there were quite a few sort of insect inspired ships so that's my attempts at that. Here's a further exploration from the previous page and then I think the next picture it was inspired by yeah Imagine FX something inspired by that. So it's a mix of a fly and a squiddy out of the matrix. Uh, next up we have a strange cyborg monster so that's sort of in my Geiger style. Here's playing around with cyborg things. So I've got a cat tank. Uh, this is the basically that's a still life of a money box I have in the shape of a Dalek. It's full of 50 cent coins. Uh, something I've drawn here, which I've just called Mech at Mecca, because it's not a nice alliteration. As a dirigible or a blimp. Just because I think it was in one of the books, put a dragon there for maybe it's like drags of pern or something. Uh, I was playing around with seeing if I could draw mechanoids at some point. Uh, and then we've got a series of terminators coming up next, all based off figurines I have. So here's the first dodgy terminator, and here's the second one. I think the best bit there was the leg. Is it a leg? I think it's a leg. Another one of my photo manipulations from working at home. I did a whole bunch for like, I don't know, eight months every day. And here's another one. So basically just figuring in the Terminator put in front of a photo I took off the Lawn W power station. Here's a go at drawing it, which didn't work out very well. The Terminator looks like a gorilla. But eh, learn. Um, Here's uh, Terminator as I was trying to work on my anatomy and skull work here as well, I think. And I decided to snazzify it in Photoshop. So that's why there's flames everywhere and the background is darker. Uh, something I came up with here. What came first, the chicken or the chook gun? Bagurk! There's another there. There's a tank. So. I must have gone through a stage where I did tanks and animals because I got the cat tank. Here's one of my earliest drawings which I actually retained called the Bionic Bird from December 1988. Um, and then uh, the next year I decided to investigate drawing it in a pose which wound up being this one. Uh, foreshortening didn't work out too well but it is from 89 I think. Yep. Here's the actual drawing I did, which is why this is version 2.0. The other one was just a sketch job. Here's uh, my first go at trying to do him in Photoshop. Still haven't got around to a proper Bionic Bird drawing in Photoshop. Uh, but I have done things like sketch around here and then do some extra manipulation afterwards. 
So here's the version I tried to do last year. It sort of comes out okay, but I should give it another go. Here's the crappy rendition of the original drawing in Photoshop based on the sketch I did. Uh, here's the Bionic Bird Ship, which I actually made this out of um, polystyrene, and the, the exhaust is basically the size of straws. Um, that's long since bit the dust. There's some more exp explorations on Bionic Bird and maybe his or her it symbol. This is a caricature of a computer lecturer from way back in uni. Here's what I've called a cyborg slug. I tend to put like rockets on to animals just for the hell of it. This, uh, yeah, it is from Liftoff from Scott Robinson. So, yeah. Uh, here's some explorations I've done mainly on mechanoid joints and stuff which we should see more of that in December of 2021 is probably the earliest uh, record I have of my drawing which is a deep sea piranha which is based on a fish I drew back in I think grade 5 here's a lizard dude photo manipulation I did a tutorial for this in my graphic design course here's a dude in a vat with probes stuck to his head uh, maybe this is Bionic Bird's nemesis, the Bionic Eagle or Hawk or something. Uh, here's a robot fly again. You can see it's got exhausts and rockets on him. Uh, here's a basically it's not supposed to be a realistic Robocop, but it was just uh, trying to work out what it would be for my next um, series of posters I'm going to show. Custom 404 page, which never really came off, but how to go. Here's another working from home photo manipulation, a couple of figurines, or a whole bunch of figurines, and Predator and Terminator and Robocop figurines and me. Uh, another working from home photo manipulation. I think the very first photo manipulator I ever did back in 90 was of me terminated. Uh, piss take on Victoria's managing this together. Staying apart, separates us all stuff. Uh, one of my last projects as part of my graphic design course was uh, Advent Poster. I chose to do the Cyborg Smackdown, which involved basically taking photos of Robocop and Terminator figurines, uh, putting them into Illustrator, drawing them in Illustrator, basically tracing over them and then colouring them, so like basically a shell, shade, shell shading style, and putting them into this final poster here. So yeah, that was... Uh, Pretty snazzy back then. Here's a page out of a book called The Dragon, which I wrote in I think grade seven or eight. So I've actually rewritten. I should get around to maybe making it more snazzy. And finally, here's a, just some doodling I did in class one day. So you can see that a little computer lecture there again. So yeah, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Do it. Do it now. And check me out in other places and also check out the vid which should be on screen uh, Check me out on Instagram. I generally post stuff there. I post to Twitter and I have various things on Pinterest most of that's just duplicates everything so stick to one that will save you time and whatnot. Anyway, ciao